What up everybody, Furious Pete? Of course you know it's me, because it's on this channel. Who else would it be? I mean, there's there's another possibility. It could be Maldiva, it could be my dog, it could be who knows, but it's me, it's me. And it's story time with Furious Pete. That's right. Before we begin today's uh, story, which goes very hand in hand with the, today's episode, is uh, fuck cancer shirts. If you haven't picked one up, go for it. Link in the description. It's not sold on my site. A bunch of people think that it was sold on my site. I'm going through Tilt uh, for this, so they're helping me produce this, send it out, and get it just, you know, basically, I think after the first few days, they're actually gonna ship out the first few shirts and then uh, just keep things going. So um, they're just helping me out with it. It's. I, I can't run everything myself, guys. You know, we run Furious Apparel, um, but it would be hard to get the appropriate sizes and everything like that. So uh, we might do, you know, another limited shirt in the future, but for now, for No Shave November, that's what we're doing. Like I said, 100% proceeds go to cancer uh, uh, research and awareness. So pick one up. Anyways, back to story time. Let's talk about things. Holding my SLR, so it's kind of, I thought I had my tripod here, and I clearly don't. So uh, I'm gonna be holding it, so hopefully I can find maybe a spot to hold it. But um, this month is, is all about male cancers. Um, and as you guys know, I've been going through testicular cancer. I, had, I found out about testicular cancer last year, and then I went through surgery, and then thought it was clear, and then, uh, and then I came back and then had radiation. Unfortunately, you know, it's going through the process and I find out in less than a month what's happening with me and crossing my fingers being as optimistic as I can, right? Um, so we will find out. Um, but uh, the, today is a story about, and it's a lot of people I constantly ask me is, how did I find out, you know? How did I find out that this happened? Um, and what are the symptoms and everything like that. So I'll go over that and uh, you know, I've talked about it here and there very shortly, um, sometimes in Q&A, sometimes in just quick vlogs, things like that. But I figured a story about, about this can help other males out there and uh, identify you know, when, when unfortunately shit goes wrong and stuff isn't going exactly as planned. Because this is not planned. But um, so, September last year, um, you know, it's like it constantly goes through your head because you start thinking. So September last year, I found out that I had this issue. Um, I had one, one really large testicle. But leading up to it, months before that, you know, I started thinking in my head, did I remember like feeling some hardness in one of the testicles? Because that's one of the, one of the tells that there's something wrong is, is, testicle just becomes very, very solid, you know, becomes like a solid mass. And, uh, you know, I started thinking to myself, like, I can't remember if I did, it did, it could have, you know, you start thinking to yourself, oh, maybe that one time, like, you know, it really was hard and, and I should have looked into that and I didn't at that time. But, you know, you just, you're always going to think about that. You're always going to think, hey, maybe at one point, you know, something, something was up. But anyway, so I remember a couple of events. Uh, one, I remember I was training with Omar. Uh, he was at my unit and uh, we decided to do rope climbs. And I remember doing this rope climb and I had tremendous discomfort coming down the rope. It just, it didn't feel like, I was just like, oh man, like, you know, sometimes you slide down one of these ropes and you know, it, it hits your crotch and everything and you know, you feel it. And this just, it's just hurt and it was just like, there was just no avoiding it. And uh, I remembered that. And then I guess a couple days later, I just, you know, I went to pee and had a little feel down there and, and something just wasn't, wasn't right. And I was like, at first I was just like, I wasn't really getting, I wasn't really scared. I wasn't really thinking cancer at all, at all. Uh, all I was thinking is, hey, you know, maybe that time I climbed the rope, actually, I actually injured that testicle. Maybe that that ball got injured at that point. And that's what was going through my head. So I kind of just, you know, didn't really do anything for a day with it. Just, I was like, eh, I don't know really what's going on. Like, you know, whatever. And then I started to do a little bit of Googling. I started doing a little bit of research. 
and you know some people said it could be swollen and then some people then they started reading some something about cancer and I was like what what's going on then I reached out to a couple friends um, one I talked to Omar about it I talked to Sean about it I talked to a couple other uh, friends about it and um, I just tried to run things through them and just tried to like dissect what was going on talk to Rick about it and just just try to explain, I don't really know what is, like, what is this? Like, you know, online I'm seeing this. Do you know anything about this? Do you know anyone else that's been through it? Like, and as as we started reading more and more, and as I just started just reading too much of it, it was evident that, you know, regardless of what was going on down there, I needed to go see a doctor immediately. And so I did that. Went to a walk-in and... Uh, the walk-in doctor saw it and he just told me, he's like, he can't tell me if it's bad or good. Like we need to do an ultrasound to see what's going on. So uh, two days after that, I got an ultrasound appointment. I went in and after I did my ultrasound, literally within 45 minutes, I got a phone call from the doctor telling me I have to come in. And that alone was, was a big scare, was a big tell where 45 minutes after this happened, after I had the ultrasound, I went to go see the doctor. But in the meantime, um, I actually had to, between finding out the doc, between finding out, uh, you know, telling the doctor telling me to do an ultrasound and actually doing the ultrasound, I actually went to Vegas for the Olympia. So I had like weird thoughts in my head when I was at the Olympia that year. This was last year. And a lot of people remember seeing me like, you know, not in 100% state, but, but there, but there and enjoying myself and being nice and, and doing my thing. Um, but yeah, I came home the very next day, had the ultrasound. Um, and uh, yeah, the doctor called me to come in 45 minutes after my ultrasound went in. And he told me, you know, I'm just going to tell you it's not good news and you have a mass that has grown there and we need to see we, i'm he's going to get me a hold of a testicular cancer specialist right away and uh that's pretty much the gist of it that's that's what happened you know i got to go to see a testicular cancer specialist and we booked the surgery for about a week after and i got mentally prepared and Melissa came home from firefighting. I told her it was a whole disaster, you know, just trying to deal with this. It's not easy to deal with. And, uh, but we, we got through it. We're getting through it now too. But it's, it's all about just if you see an irregularity, you know, this isn't a story for me, you know, about, you know, feeling sorry for me or whatever it is. This is a story for males out there that if you see something that, just doesn't seem right, that doesn't feel right, don't let it just like sit there for a month, two months, three months, you know? It's just, it's especially if it's not getting better, like you can let it go for a day or two, that's fine if you see something weird, but if it doesn't change after a day or two, go see a doctor. What's it gonna, it's not gonna hurt you to go see a doctor. Um, don't be embarrassed, and it's just it's just something that you have to do. If, if you, see something that isn't right, go see a doctor. The, you know, the best possible outcome is, hey, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong at all and you'll be totally fine, blah, 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 blah. But the worst possible outcome or, you know, the outcome that could happen is that something isn't right. But the sooner you act on it, the better your results. Anyways, this is not trying to be a depressing story time, but, you know, it's just something that needs to be talked about it is No Shave November. It is that month to talk about everything. And so I'm going to be talking about it. So you're going to hear stories about this. And I think it's important to talk about this more and more so that more males know about this. All right? I love you guys. Thank you very much for your support day in and day out. You guys are amazing. Seriously. Amazing. I'll catch you guys later. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid. <laughs> Well, not 100 camo. If they had 100 camo jeans, though, I look at you. I don't think they would look that good, dude. You look really trashy. Highly <laughs> trashy.